Why, hello there. Uh, today I want to give a demo of Lazy CLI, specifically around customization. So if you've just downloaded this program, you can just run it by going Lazy CLI, uh, and one of the preset programs that supports is LS. So it just takes what LS gives you, but then like wraps it in this interface where I can go and flick through here and I can like run key binding. So if I want to get rid of my readme file, I just press D and then delete. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, what I want to do is add support for um, looking through my, my Git log and I want to be able to like open any of those things in my browser. So what I'm talking about is going like Git log this guy. Um, so currently I can kind of look through here, but if I wrap it in, in lazy CLI, um, you know, I can, I can filter it down like refactor, for example, and I'd, I'd like to be able to get this line and say, I want to open this in my browser. So how do I do that? So if I, um, if I, if I open this, this program, so it's saying no profile selected. So it doesn't, it doesn't it's not really like aware. It doesn't have any key bindings configured for this specific command. So. I'm going to open my config file using the dollar sign and bring this up. And so what you this will be like pre-populated when, when you download Lazy CLI for the first time. Um, so there's like a kind of like a profile name, and then here's are the commands that will get give you access to these key bindings. So I'm just going to copy this guy here. I'm going to call it git log git log. And the command is git log dash dash pretty equals one line. Um, so, you know, what you could do is you can say like, you know, if I press C, I want to do like git checkout dollar zero. Uh, dollar zero is just whatever the first column is here. So we've got like first column, second column. And what we care about in this case is just what this, uh, this commit SHA is. So in the case of opening in my browser, I actually don't really know how to do this. So I looked this up and uh, this is the command to get your current repos uh, URL. So if I paste this in here, it seems to work. But I want to lose this .git part. So this other Stack Overflow thread tells me I can use sed to do that. So I'm just going to go and... Oh, I've got it right here. So uh, here's what I prepared earlier. If you pipe that to sed and you remove the .git, then you have the um, the the beginning of the URL, but we want to go one step further and we want to be able to open a commit with a particular name. So in this case, we're using blah, but obviously that doesn't exist. Um, but this here is the command we want to run. So chuck that in there, swap this out for a dollar zero because we want to get the actual SHA that we've selected. Um, and if I run this command again, then let's do it again, refactor. More refactoring. Press O. And here we are, more refactoring. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, if you find yourself using this uh, often, you can go and wrap it in an alias. So I can go to like echo. Try to this works. Uh, alias. LZL equals and wrap that thing and then put that in my uh, zshrc file then I'm going to source zshrc and for some reason when I source things right now it breaks but I'll just come back to where I was and now if I go lzl here we are and press o and it opens so yeah, that's just a quick demo to kind of explain how you would go about customizing uh, this guy. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, hopefully we can kind of build up a, a set of reasonable presets that people might find useful. Um, but uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.